don't always give 100%. Welcome back. Welcome to more side quests. That's the name of the game, everyone. We should talk about this. The mood in Colony 4 seems to be a lot livelier than before, somehow. I agree. Slightly because they can access the food and resources they need now. I'm so glad they seem to have weathered the storm. Speaking of food, Colony 4 took down that whopper of an army, right? Wow. Bet they got a lot of meat out of that thing. Something meatier, innit? Heard they got some amazing cuts from it, like first-rate fillets. Bet they've been stuffing themselves with them all day. First-rate fillets. That makes me drool so much. I'm about to get dehydrated. When do I get to eat some, huh? Right? Think they'll let us have a little nibble? I don't know. They might think it's a bit presumptuous of us if we come asking. Okay, well, but look here. Surely we've helped them enough to earn at least a few bites, right? Oh, great. All this talk of meat and now it's the only thing I want to eat. Samesies. Me too. Good grief, you people. Do 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 do. Beyond mercy and revenge. Oh, hey, you lot. You came at just the right time. We got our hands on some high quality meat recently. Care to try some? Oh, you mean from that huge armor you hunted yet? Eh? How do you know that? Is that why you came here in the first place? Well, uh, we just heard that you had some first rate fillets and then we couldn't stop thinking about them, so, uh. <laughs> so it is why you schlepped yourselves all this way. Didn't expect you to have such a base motivation, motivation gotta say. Our apologies, if we've offended, uh, we'll just go. Nah, it's fine, we already decided we'd treat you as thanks for your help. So yeah, grab some seats and I'll bring it on right over to you. I've got plenty of first-rate fillet you want so much, and it's got your names on it. Literally, seared them into it. Phew, I'm stuffed. I wanted to see it. Don't think I've had such tasty meat in all my life. You finally got something meatier. My god. Ah oh, yeah, me too. I was tearing up about how, how good it was. Definitely earned that first rate part. It melted on my tongue like some kind of huge juicy meaty snowflake. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Indeed, I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. <laughs> what well, great feedback. Glad to see my hard work didn't go to waste. That was super delicious. Thank you so much for everything. Hmm, something wrong? I... what? My body feels... numb. Food coma. Hey, what's going on? Stay with me! S somebody come quick! I need the med team here, stat! It's just a food coma. Is everyone alright? I don't feel alright at all. My body feels wrung out. I feel like I'm gonna puke. What the spark happened? Seems we were transported to the medic team after losing consciousness. Let's ask old Shandra what happened. She might know something. What happened? Ah, what a relief. Looks like you're back on your feet. How do you feel? My head still feels fuzzy. Any clue what happened to us back there? Actually, about that, I'll tell you. But please, try not to freak out. To be truthful, we found traces of poison in the food you ate earlier. My god! Poison? Relax, please. It won't have any lasting effects. Thanks to how quickly you received treatment. So does that mean that Laszlo guy put poison in our dinner? He's actually being questioned by Balearis in command right now. We should go there too. What he did was awful, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, there's no grey area in this. We can't let this slide. Hmm. Hey, the colony relations changed. It's not going to be him. Simple as that. It's 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 just not. We should use the fast travel up to command. There we go. My stomach's growling now. Ah, there you all are. I'm so happy you're still breathing. I heard what happened. Sorry to hear you got involved in this kind of mess. Yeah, that's what we came here to talk about. Right, I see. I suppose you must think I'm the culprit. It's so obvious anyone would. But I didn't do it, I swear. 
You have to believe me. Or so he claims, but who else could have done it if not him? Several people. Can you wait a bit before you decide to punish him, Balearis? Why do you ask that? If he didn't do it as he says, then the real culprit must be out there somewhere, no? Yeah, I suppose. Are you saying you're going to try and catch them? Ah. I should point out, though, this isn't your responsibility. Ah, no one, never mind. I'll stop being an idiot now. Alright then, I'll leave the investigation in your capable hands while I keep an eye on Laszlo here. I'm sorry. I hate to put you out like this. Don't worry. We'll try and straighten this all out. Lovely sentiment, Mio love, but how exactly do you propose we do that? We should gather info at the very least. Let's check out any places we think could be somewhat relevant. Yes, exactly. Let's look for clues, no matter how trivial they may seem. I mean, I assume you had drinks with your food. I assume. Hey, the colony relations changed. This is very much like, let's get on you. There we go. Hey, the colony relations changed. Yep, it hey, the colony relationships change. <laughs> A funny finding one here, huh? Indeed. It's hilarious. It was Coochie Coochie, I knew it. I hope everyone's getting along. Hi, Coochie Coochie. I've never ever met someone so rude. Hey, 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 you friends. Let Coochie Coochie bend your ear a minute. What's up? Something wrong? Coochie Coochie saw soldier in kitchen earlier sneaking around all creepy like. So Coochie Coochie say, please not to go in there, super duper politely. Then he say to Coochie Coochie, shut up. And shut me and run off like zoom. Then Coochie Coochie fell flat on bottom. It's still sting now. I see, that sounds rough. That person had such bad nature. Coochie Coochie is squad leader, surely have some respect earned. Coochie Coochie is sure to come to pill for first rate fillets of Laszlo. What greedy manners. Oh, so he went to the kitchen while Laszlo was cooking. That is right, that is right. Is that relevant for something? Did you catch a glimpse of his face? Of course. But we forget about it three clicks, clicks later and ticks later, yes? I don't know who this guy was, but he sounds mega suspicious to me. A rude soldier in the kitchen. Let's keep that in the back of our minds for now. Oh, this is still this talk of food. My stomach is growling. I'm going to need to get some food at some point. So long. I heard what happened at the canteen. That can't have been fun. We're looking for clues right now. Could you tell us if you know anything? Yes, of course. I'll tell you everything I know. First of all, the mutual aid came from a giant armor that the tactician squad procured. Usually that kind of catch is examined by us before we hand it over to Kucha Kucha and the culinary team. And there was no funny business like putting poison in the army meat when we were looking at it. So you mean the meat was first rate when you saw it, eh? Eh? Senna, keep it in your pocket. This is just guesswork from me, but I think the meat was probably poisoned after we handed it to the kitchen. So you're saying it's most likely the poison was added in the cooking stage. That's what I think anyway. It's purely conjecture though. So maybe it really was Laszlo. Hey, we still don't know that for sure. There might be some other clues around. I mean, we're still, like, after Kucha Kucha. We know someone barged in. Hello there, General Kenobi. Hey, Alshandra. We wanted to ask you about the poison. Before you do, let me take this opportunity to apologize. Apologize for what? The neurotoxin you were given came from the medical team's stores. Mm, really? That's not meant as a toxin, really. It's supposed to be a pain-relieving medication. But if you overdose, then... Well... Can you guess who it could have been that took the substance from your stores? And it goes about saying that the medic team and I can access it. The only other people I can think of are the soldiers in the tactician squad. They often take some of it on their missions to use as on any wounded soldiers. I've warned them about it many times, but I can never be too strict with them. They are putting their lives on the line for us. So the poison came from the medic team. It really was an inside job by a member of Colony 4. Dun 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 dun. Sounds like a scoop. Proper scoop, mate. It's proper scoop. 
train? Maybe. All right, the poisoner. And today's story is... Let's summarize all the information we've gathered so far, then. First of all, the poison used in the attack is a medicine purloined from the medic team. We also know there's a high chance that the poison was put in during cooking. That soldier from another unit must have slipped into the kitchen and done it, then. If Laszlo really isn't the baddie, then that person would be mega suspicious. But we still have no idea who that could even be. Let's go over the facts carefully, one more time. The people who could access the poison are the medic team and the tactician squad. Then there was a soldier in the kitchen with a bad nature according to Kuchikucha. Are there any bad nature soldiers in the medic or tactician squads? Oh, Sparks! What's wrong, Senna? Mimi, I know! I know who the culprit is! What? It has to be him! I don't know about the medic team, but in the tactician squad, there's one bad-natured soldier. Oh, I know who you mean. Must be that guy, yeah. Just, just that guy. Just... Is it Maxi with the... Oh, 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 was it Jack? It's one of those. It's one of us! I'm doing, I'm doing one of us. One of us! Uh... Lance, now is not the time for jokes. My bad, I just thought I'd ease the tension a little. Yeah. You're so clueless sometimes, you spoon. Maxi! Yes, he is in the tactician squad, but would you really say he's got a bad attitude? I actually thought he's a pretty decent bloke. Laszlo! Isn't he the one we're trying to avoid blaming? Does this mean you're giving up? Jeremy. Oh, him, the only one left on our list. I don't remember him. In the mountains, he's that soldier who randomly started butting heads with us. He could get his hands on the poison, and we all know he has a bad nature. He also told Mio to watch out for poison before. Sounded kind of like a threat. Has to be our guy, no doubt about it. Wait a minute, Senna. We still don't know for sure. He was openly hostile to us, so there's a clear motive there. Crap. He won't get away with this. Just wait till I find that mudder. I said wait. M Mio? Calm down, everybody. Let's talk to Laszlo one more time first. I'm sure he's been anxiously waiting to hear what we have to say. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Are you okay? Like, your eyes are drooping a bit. You okay, Mimi? Hey, hmm. Like, her eyes were just, like, like as if she was starting right, to then. nod off. Should we get a move on? It's just... Very, very strange. Like, what's going on there? Right, command. Nope, nope, nope. No! That's the, the one who's right in front of me. There. There you all are. Well, did you catch the culprit? Before we go about that, we need to ask, do you know Jeremy, the tactician? Oh, yeah, of course. We're in the same team. Team. Wait, are you telling me he's the culprit? We're not certain yet, but there's a high possibility it's him, yes. No way. I mean, yes way. He's certainly capable of such a thing. Indeed. Didn't seem too keen on us before. Hm. You're not the only ones. At the Finning, he's not too fond of me either. Ah. Uh. Actually used to belong to the tactician squad, but got injured in battle and transferred to the kitchens. Back then, my two teammates were Jeremy and my dear friend, Mercutio. Wait, is that the soldier who fought against Connie Sai and... Jeremy probably hates me just as much as the Agnians who killed our friend. Just for taking you guys in. So that's why he tried to pin the blame on you after trying to poison us. Alright, we get the picture. We can hear the rest after we catch him. Wait, hold on. Please, let me come with you. Uh, what, you want to arrest? He's nodded off. It, well, it, it's okay, you can go. I'll, I'll take responsibility to just sort this mess out. Acting Commander, thank you so much. In that case, we just need to find out where he is. It's probably quicker to ask Captain Maxi where he is, since he's Jeremy's superior. Good thinking. Let's hurry up and catch this miscreant. 
What's going on? What's going on with Mio? That's what I want to know. And she hasn't told us, like, she's like, droopy along. eyes. After being poisoned, that's not a good sign, so... <laughs> Through the pipes. Or the wires, or whatever they were. Maxi! Hey, Captain Maxi. Do you know where Jeremy is? Oh, hello, Laszlo. Thought I heard Baliaris took you into custody. We'll explain the details later. Can you please tell us where Jeremy is first? He's on patrol duty with Yord. Seemed quite urgent. Flaran. Where did you come from? Take this lot down Route 3C and convene with Jeremy's patrol post haste. Got it. They should be near the Dana Desert. It's a bit of a trek, so bear with me. What's going on? Yord? What's wrong? What happened? Where's that snuffing Jeremy? <laughs> I can see the shadow right there, like, come on. Uh, Jeremy, he... When he saw you approaching, he suddenly spiralled into a complete panic. And he whacked me on the head, probably trying to knock me out. Oh, it really hurts. That arsehole. How could he do this to his own patrol mate? You want to get away with this. Take it easy, Flaren. We'll just take care of Yord's wounds for now. And we'll go chase after Jeremy. Someone needs to look after her. Now look here. You're right, go ahead. Alright, understood. Just be sure to give me a whack of... Give him a whack upside the chin for me, you hear? Let's go follow him. While we can still see his footprints. You know, with this rain and everything. Come on, hurry. Everyone's getting along. It's a footprint quest. Oh, how we love these. It's so fun. Because they usually go on for 14 miles. Rather than it being like, you know, he's around the rock over there. Like, okay. Like, be around there. Like, ha ha, he's there. Like, nope. What are you going to be like over there? And there's mountains in the distance. Why would he come this way, anyway? That's the thing. When you're following these footprints, you have to question, like, why would you come this way? And where are you heading? Like, there's nothing out here in the desert, so... I say I could see the shadow, but not the thing, then. Again, there. Where are you going, Jeremy? Like, it did... I think it, like, he went around there rather than across. It's just strange. Jeremy! Yeah. Hey, you haven't been on the front lines in a while, have you? I just hang back. Huh? Are you trying to help him? Yes, we'll deal with this. Alright, I'll stay out of your way. Snippy, snippy. Jeremy's just desserts. Time to get cracking. I'm the one you want. Make that double fast charge there, that's cute. Eat it. Fight on this! I'm gathering momentum! I know! Feeling good! Oh. Things are building up! It's amazing! Ha. Fight on this! Deal! Win again! Jeremy, you put the poison in their food, didn't you? Huh. So you figured it out. If you're gonna kill me, just hurry up and do it. Stop talking nonsense. You know Makusho wouldn't have wanted this. What the snuff do you know about him? You just ran away from the fight, coward. You don't get a say. Ugh. 
You're a traitor to your friends, setting the past aside like that. Like you've plain forgotten about Mikushio. He'd be ashamed of you kissing up to the enemy like that. You're wrong about me. All I did was... Slap him. Whatever you might think. No, that is an excuse to lash out against your comrades. Not listening to a word a stuffing Agnian has to say. Mimi. I wasn't joking when I said you can shoot me if you want. Shut up, I don't want to hear any more. But looking at you now, I'm pretty sure you won't shoot. Shut your trap. If you want to kill you, if you want me to kill you that badly, I'll make sure I finish the job this time. Triple dot. <laughs> Crap, snuff it all. Why? How did it come to this? What did I do wrong? Are you saying I'm the traitor? My friend was killed. I can never forget that. Why can't I shoot? Oh, snuff it. Hmm. I'll take Jeremy back to the colony. It's okay if I take over from here, right? I'm sorry, Lesla. It's not your fault. Actually, it's nobody's fault. I mean, it is someone's fault. It's Zed's fault, but okay. It's the war's fault, but at some point, somebody's going to have to put an end to all that. Hopefully. Talking about you, Ouroboros. I'm sure he gets that, too. <sighs> it's not my place to ask you this, but you please come back to check in on us. Yes, of course. And I never return ever again. That's it. I'm never going back to Colony 4. I hope everyone's getting along. There's a bloody question mark. I see it. I see it. No. More. Stop generating more quests, game. And just cropping up everywhere. Stop it. Alright, okay, what you got for us? Oh, it's you lot. Good day, everyone. So, looks like you fixed it up good and proper. Are you okay, though? Maybe I'm just imagining things, but you seem a lot less peppy than before. It's all these side quests that he's had to do. Yeah, I haven't slept a wink since I last saw you. Maybe that's why. Have you really been working nights just to fix this thing? Yep. I figured out how to... Levitational mechanism works. But now we've got a new big problem on our hands. And what would that be? Well, you see, the Levitus requires a colossal amount of energy to hover. So... We need to get our hands on a gargantuan number of ether cylinders. There's no way we could afford it. Without surpassing this problem, my hypothesis is just an armchair theory. An actualized fantasy, so to speak. I'm not fully following, but I assume you mean you've reached a dead end. Mm-hmm. Dinsel is going to have my head at this rate. I used up resources like they're grown on trees. So if we don't get a result, I'll have to offer up my life as penance. Now that's a bit dramatic. You don't know how scary he can get. It could happen. Is there nothing else we can do? Like get more parts for another study? Unfortunately, the power supply short circuits the moment the levinus is destroyed, so there'd be no point. Oh, wait. With that kind of airframe, then perhaps... Wait. Oh, oh. It's coming to me. Yes! This fella's as hectic as ever. Having a light bulb moment or something. Yes, I am. There's just one thing we have to do. And I'll need your help again. Gotcha. If we can do it, we'll do it. Hoped you'd say that. Don't worry, it's not a difficult task. 
It's the same thing you did before. You want us to find more Levinus parts for you? Basically, yes. But this time, it'll have to be a Levinus called the Mechapod Carthagia. Carthagia? It's a highly sophisticated Levinus with a perfectly safe mechanism around its power system. Okay. I bet you could acquire this part. Without it getting damaged in the process. It'll be a tough opponent, but I believe you would be able to stand a chance. Mechapod Carthagia? Huh. Where is it then? To the best of my knowledge, I think it's been sighted at Lavi Sandbar. Well, we'll do what we can. But don't blame me if the part does end up getting a bit banged up, okay? No, oh, don't worry. If that happens, I'll let Dinzel kill me to make up for it. What? That's a lot of responsibility to bear. No pressure, eh? Dang it again. Part two of seven. Is that the Mechapod Carthagia that Ymir mentioned? It appears to be accompanied by Agnian troops. Let's get the parts we need and move out before they call reinforcements. Got it, let's nab those parts and leg it back to Ymir. That is an interesting looking one. There's a position here where I can get sorry. It's like, where, where did it go? I, I can't I can't move because of it. Okay. They're already dead, Uni. They're already dead. Yeah, the part from the Levness you pointed us to. Is it what you needed? Oh my. This is stupendous. Can't see a single scratch on it. It's like it's brand new. You think this will solve your problem? Yes, all I have to do is put my theory into practice. Let me quickly combine the components and attach them to the Levness. Doom. 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 Whoa, it moved! Does that mean it worked? Yes, no doubt about it. This is the best result we could have wished for. Let me compose myself. Uh, to be honest, I was half doubting my theory before. But I can't doubt what I just saw. Everyone listen. I've been relying too much on established concepts. It's been a terrible oversight on my part. What oversight? Before, I'd guessed that the technology was essentially located in the Agni and Levinus's levitational mechanism. Yep. But when I opened it up, what did I find, you may ask? It's actually super efficient at energy conduction. Energy conduction? Ah, yes, I read about the underlying theory in a report about Levinus's once. The process of converting the energy from an ether cylinder always results in a loss of energy, I think it said. That's exactly right. However, Agni and Levises in particular have barely any loss of energy during that process. Sorry, Ymir, can you simplify that a bit for us amateurs? Uh, roughly speaking, it means that it can operate at full power without wasting as much energy as before. Hmm, I see, but uh, is that really such a big deal? Of course it is. For instance, our Pharonises have been out of order until now. Without a flame clock, ether cylinders don't output sufficient energy, making it utterly impossible to operate our Pharonesis. However, with this technology, we can create a power system to rival the flame clock by our own means. And with that system, we can get the Pharonesis up and running once more. Whoa, are you serious? Deadly. Well, theoretically, of course. Depending on time, resources, and available manpower, too. In other words, it's going to take a while. I am so grateful to you all. 
Thanks to you, my results far exceed my expectations. With this outcome alone, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be the next captain. A captain can allocate endless resources. My research will bring advances the likes of which have never been seen before. You're starting to worry me, matey. Eh? Uh, whatever, 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 fill your boots. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it so much. I'll do my very best. If the Ferronis starts working again, first thing I'll do is help you out. When that time comes, just remember what a bloody genius I was. Oh, I remember, alright. In part three! So I'm thinking next part? Side quests. More. Side quests. Start off for now.